Welcome to Danielle's desk. So today I have a special treat. I am doing a another Happy Planner haul. So if you are not aware, the Happy Planner Happy Planner came out with their back to school uh, collection. So um, it's not only for teachers. I am not a um, educator, but. I found a lot of cute things that I can use and so um, it is live it went live on last week and I received all of my items on today which is Saturday um, which happy planner usually gets to me pretty quickly from California I'm in Texas so I got a few things um, I was able to get everything that was on my wish list um, using my points and kind of finagling and moving things around uh, so I can budget for it and so I am pretty excited to share with you what I've got so the first thing is an obvious thing if you know me you follow me on Instagram you're here you're a subscriber it is um, the modern bookish um, so I love this and I love the original bookish I own um, the bookish sticker book and I also own there's one that came out that was like a teacher's version I believe and um, I absolutely love the rainbows and everything but this one is more of a obviously modern take so it is not those you know playful rainbow colors um, I simply love the uh, graphics that they used um, with the full boxes and this comes in a big size and so I'm going to you've probably already seen this but like you know I just want to kind of flip through this so I'm gonna zoom you out just a tad so you can kind of see things but these are the boxes that I was talking about that I love like this one is probably my favorite right here I love that box I also love this one so I love that color I cannot wait to um, to do a spread I mean look at this one this one is also my favorite I mean I love all of them I love what they've done with this and so I'm gonna start at the back and kind of flip through we get some good scripts and like I said you don't have to be a teacher in order to use this I mean look at this page so it has like um, a background of a page in a book I mean, I love that. I love what they did that I did with this. I mean, whoever was on the team for this did an amazing job. And if you want a more of a detail, detail flip through, I definitely check out one of the squad members. I'm quite sure that they have something on their YouTube page or on Instagram, um, just kind of showing it all in detail. So, but this was definitely a given, a must for me to pick up this sticker book. So, along with this sticker book, of course, I had to get the planner to go with it. So, I have not opened anything. Like, I, I am viewing all of this for the first time right along with you. I literally just took it out the box and placed it on my desk to start videoing. So, I have not flipped through nor looked at anything. And so um, I am not really what you call a huge, um, big size person. Um, I only own one big and it's that memory planner that uh, came out, what, several years ago. And to be honest with you, I only touched it twice um, because it's just, you know, like not a priority in my lineup, but it's there. It's beautiful. It's there but I don't mind this but this is the kicker if you follow me on Instagram stories then you know I have no idea what I'm doing with this planner I don't this is a teacher layout it is uh from August through July and this cover is stunning I mean absolutely stunning so I am going to be doing a whole dedicated video on all of this so be on the lookout for that i can tell you that i'm going to be changing the disc out to metal disc so you get a gold plastic disc on there and i am not a plastic disc person only in my um brain notebooks that i keep the original disc but anything else i can just see I could also see not only gold disc, but if like the pink metal disc, and the reason why I said that, and I may end up doing that, see this book here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's this really pretty like Barbie baby pink in there, which I love. 
that would look so good with the pop of pink on this side. So I might end up doing that. I don't know. I might end up doing that. But let me move this out of the way so I can be able to flip. Oh my goodness. Look at this page. I mean, whoever was on the creative team for this, they did an amazing, amazing job. So um, I am going to show you the original layout and then I will show you the dividers. I mean, I'm so glad that they picked this as like the cover page. I mean, this is astounding. I love this so much. And like I said, be on the lookout for a upcoming video where I will um, decide and show you what I'm going to be doing with this planner. But, you know, like this page here. This is not a page that I would ideally use because, you know, I'm not an educator, um, but wow, so, so pretty. So everything here um, in the planner is um, neutral. There is not any type of color other than these like polka dots that are here. And then if you have not seen the teacher layout, it is, um, you have the columns, uh, it's it's more of a horizontal and so um, trust me I'm going to figure out how to use this planner because I need it in my lineup but I'm gonna flip through the dividers so you can see these beautiful amazing dividers this one says sleep and lay in the Sun read until dawn live simply so pretty love the burgundy or brown so pretty the cure for boredom is books cannot uh, agree more love this remember that's one of those full boxes that I loved so much be kind to your mind and you have the pretty daisies free as I want to feel as free as the flowers and then you have I love this oh goodness so pretty and then we have this is where the magic begins remember life is a is is a beautiful and tough journey but you keep going and you push through you've already made it this far imagine what else you could do so true so pretty you love this one so it's just like the cover get that on there and then in the back you just have the checklist so um, most of the time I know teachers, this is where they put their um, student's name and then you know have everything there. Again, I will not be using this. However, this is how the back cover looks. And then the back just has the, um, like a sample of a book of some kind. So, so, so pretty. I love this. Now I do see some damage here. Things just happen in transit. I'm not worried about that, but this is a stunning, stunning planner. Um, I haven't really looked to see where these are going to be at, whether it's going to be Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby, but you can definitely check the Happy Planner website. All you do is click on the item and go down to the info section and it will let you know if it's only a Happy Planner exclu exclusive or if it'll be in one of the uh, stores that I just mentioned. So that is what I got from the Modern Bookish. So I am so excited about this. So I am going to place this off to the side. The next thing that I got was um the new student layout so again if you i i keep saying again if you follow me on stories but i'm super active on stories um over on instagram and so that's usually where i talk about all the things that i'm gonna buy or things that are on sale or things that i'm thinking about you know everything and so this was intentional um I am doing a lot of continuing education classes from now until the end of the year. And so this would be perfect because, um, I mean, I have a lot of classes. And so there's no specific, like, deadline on when I need to complete them. But um, I do want to get organized and I don't want to put all that information in my half letter or anything. I thought about starting like a happy notes and then I thought, no, I need something else. And then when I saw this, it was absolutely perfect. So again, they're calling it study habits. And my understanding is, is that they 
uh, it, when they were thinking about creating this planner, the student planner, they brought in a psychologist or psychologist, like more than one. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, but whoever this person was had a lot of input on what they felt was best and how students can be or take full advantage of using a planner appropriately. So I thought it was amazing. Again, this is from August through July. And uh, the info says that it's uh, improved study habits, get on track with assignments, exams, and school activities. And so I am really excited to show you this. The discs are very unusual. So they're not your t traditional happy planner disc. Um, they're like a gun metal. Um, I mean, not the feel of it, but the look of it is like a gun metal, but it is plastic. I'm unsure. I actually like these discs, but I know myself I'll end up changing, but these are not bad at all. They're very, very different from what, um, the other traditional happy planner, um, discs are. So the front says 2020, 20, 2223. I don't know why I want to say 2022. So 2223 on the front. So really pretty. I love the inside. I love this. Let me grab my scissors again. So this is the opening page here where you can put your name and it says study habits edition. That you have your um, calendar or your year um, at a glance. You have your perpetual here. Oh, love these dividers so pretty so it says make today ridiculously awesome and then this is the same as the um, bookish it is all clean all neutral except for the little polka dots that are along the spine of it and so here is the layout and I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit so you can see what I'm what I am uh, reading so it has plan organize initiate note and track and it stands for point. Um, so it says plan, list which projects take priority this month, organize, maximize your efficiency, prioritize and schedule your time, initiate, write down ways that can help you start strong, note to self, and then track and evaluate. I am going to be doing a full dedicated video on this. Um, I've gotten all my papers and everything all printed out. So I'm thinking about like doing like one month. Now, granted, this does not start until August. I am going to be starting this before August. So I'm going to be adding in a few sheets in here. I'm definitely going to be doing like this to do page because this is something that I can go ahead and start now. But I'm going to be adding in a few sheets in here. So um, before August, because I don't plan on waiting, I can't wait you know, a whole nother two months to start my continuing education classes that I need to go ahead and start now. But I love this layout. So ideally, this is an hourly. This will be my first time using an hourly type uh, setup. And so I just love this. It's very clean. I like the fact that they've kind of left like these type priorities just start, you know, for you to write in. You have goals and then you have a habits tracker that is all the way down here at the bottom. You have a lot of open space that's here where you can write or whatever you want to do here. If you wanted to add stickers to it, um, just whatever. I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding stickers. I don't want this to be another like decorative type planner planner this is not the intent of this this is for me to stay focused stay organized um, while I take all of my continuing education courses so I'm gonna go over the dividers let me make sure there's nothing on the back page no be kind to you and then so it's very it's not so much decorative it they just kind of kept it very chic I believe that they just didn't want the focus just to be about you know like decorative they it, it's a more of a I don't want to say conservative but serious type planner you know um and another thing this could be for a male or a female like it's not where it's pink or all these colors like I could easily see a guy you know using this type of planner and not thinking that oh it's so girly because you know pretty much almost all of the happy planner stuff except for that minimal line that they came out with is pretty pretty girly so so anyone could use this and an adult could use this I mean I love I think that's 
that was the intent um, with this one. And I think that they have done an amazing, amazing job with um, setting this up. So, so that is everything. And there are some notes um, at the very back. They just give you one page of notes and then you have the uh, checkered back. So really pretty planner. I'm so glad that I purchased it. So my next uh, planner, which kind of messed up on something, but oh well, it's nothing that I can do. Um, so I, if you've been following me here, because I did a dedicated video on it, um, where I'm using Happy Notes as my brain notebook. And so I did one for Valentine's Day or Valentine's Month. I did I have one for springtime, which I introduced both of them here on the channel in uh, both of here, both of them on this channel. Sorry, I can't get my words together. And um, I uh, was looking for one for the summertime because I've been doing it seasonally. It just makes it fun. That's all. Um, so I simply loved the mini or Mickey one uh, in the big size. So even though I'm saying, oh, I don't really like big, like I've been purchasing a lot of big. But the back to school collections are always a lot of big planners. That's just, it's not unusual. But I thought this one was super, super cute. Of course, I am a pink girl. So of course I couldn't pass up the pink. But I don't mind my brain notebook being big. I just, I don't because it gives me more room and it is a messy notebook like it is not something that i show on here um i did introduce it um here on the channel but i have not shown anything out of it because i just have a lot of like pr stuff and things that i want to work on and just notes that i'm jotting down um so that was the intent of the brainstorm obviously notebook so this one is so cute um it is 60 sheets it is dotted lined paper in the inside the little discs are so stinking cute. I am going to leave them. This is what I was talking about when I said on my brain notebooks, I use, I leave the original disc on there. I don't mind it. It does not have to be metal. These are so stinking cute. Um, I love the pencils and rulers and scissors and all those things. And it's all like teacher related things. It has like report card on there. But again, I don't care. It says teaching is an adventure. It is so cute. The inside is just black and white striped. Again, the inside is dotted lined. And so we're going to take a look at the sheets and dividers. Um, so the first one says, see the good. And um, it is just, like I said, uh, lined. It has the little Mickey heads and polka dots here on the spine. And then at the bottom, it says, for the love of learning. And it's so cute. They're like making a little heart. You get 60 sheets in here. They are all the same. Look at this bright yellow. In this classroom, we stick together. So, so cute. And then the last one is school is cool. So again, this is school teacher focused related, but I don't care. I love the cover and I know a lot of people love the cover too. I was talking with a couple of my planner friends over on Instagram uh, in uh, messages um, and we were talking about how cute this planner was and they were picking it up too. I don't remember the price point on this, but I remember it being very reasonable. And so I just had to have it because it was pink and I loved the little um, disc that were on there. So um, this is where I messed up. So I saw the companion pack and I guess I assumed it was a big two because it's a companion pack and it's not, it is a classic. Um, I mean, I can still use it. It's just gonna come up short, obviously. Um, and I am going to use it. I mean, like, I'm just not gonna waste it. I'm gonna do that. But in here, you get um, a bookmark and it says teachers change the world one child at a time and it has Mickey with the globe there so it's still very usable like I said um, most bookmarks in the big don't come all the way down anyway so I can still use that um, you also get some little um, sticky notes there it says don't forget and it has a little Mickey hand him holding a pencil and then him looking up there and this is why I got it because of the folder. Now, granted, I can still use the folder in here. It just won't 
it won't be a big size, but um, I guess that's why I thought that this was a big, but that was my mistake. I wasn't paying attention. And so as you can see, this is pink, but this is purple, but it's the same exact pattern. It says teachers keep, uh, teachers keep it all together. So cute, it's back and front. You get pockets back and front on that. You always get a sheet of paper stickers anytime that there is a, a planner accessory pack. And then you get more paper here. And so granted, I could still use it. Yes, I can still use it, but it's gonna come up short, but I am not going to be wasting anything. So that is what I got from the Mickey mini collection. They did come out with all the villain stuff. I'm not into any of that. Actually, I don't even own one Disney Happy Planner sticker book. It's not my thing. I'm not saying it's not beautiful or anything, but it's a little too kitty for me. So, um, but this is actually my second um, Happy Notes. I think I got the Mickey in the red for Valentine's Day. So this is my second Happy Notes in that. I don't mind that. I just really don't care for the sticker books. So the last thing that I got is from the Bill Floor collection. And um, the first thing that I got was the pouch. The pouch was amazing. I loved it. So I have two portfolios that are from the Happy Planner, one gray and one um, with the black and white Mickey head that came out in the last collection. And so this is not that. It's that, I don't know, material. I call it a scratchy material. I don't know what it is, but um, that's the feel of it. And ideally, um, it zips. I like how compact it is and your classic size will fit in there. Um, I'm gonna take my brain dump. So this is my current brain dump happy notes uh, notebook. And so if I wanted to take it along with me, I can put that in there. If I wanted to um, grab a sticker book, this is my gardening sticker book. I can come here to the back here and I can slide that in there as well. And you can zip it up and then take it along with you. So it is so nice. I love the pattern on it. Um, so I love this. I really bought this so I can place, uh, mainly my brain uh, dump notebook, like place this in my work bag and just not, I'm, I'm so worried that especially with these plastic discs that they're just gonna break, you know, putting it in my um, work notebook. So that was my whole intent and point in buying this. And obviously I love everything in that Bill Floor collection. Um, I might go back and um, once it hits stores, um, get the sticker book that goes along with it. But it just, I knew that I wasn't going to use it right off. So that's why I didn't add in my order was already very expensive. Anyway, let me take this sticker book out before I forget. All right, so that was the first thing that I got in that collection. The next thing that I got um, is still a part of that same collection. I love this so much. So it is just uh, filler paper. You get 40 sheets in here and they are lined. They are so pretty. They all say the same thing, which is notes. I love filler paper. So I'm really excited to use this. Actually, I'm going to not be using this in the planner that I'm about to show you. I'm gonna be using this in that student planner that I told you about. So this is what I'm gonna be writing my notes in um, until August hits. Um, so um, I can have something you know, to write on or whatever, but that was the intent on buying this. So like I said, it is so, so pretty, love it. And then the last thing that I got is the actual 12 month classic size planner in the Bell Floor collection. I love what they did with the color in this collection with adding the gold with the black and white. I think it is beautiful. Like I said, the whole collection is absolutely stunning. Um, and so this intent for this planner is my new faith planner. So be on the lookout for a video for that. Um, and so I love my marble faith. Don't get me wrong. I've been using it, um, what, since last year, I believe. Um, but what I'm finding is that, um, because I'm not using the soap method, I am 
like uh, covering up a lot of the wording and things in there. And so not that it's taken me like all this time or anything like that, but I'm covering up everything. So if I'm covering up everything, why not just use a regular planner? I do love the outside cover of that Marble Faith. I mean, it is beautiful. It is stunning. But when I saw this, I think that this would be a good happy medium. So it is black plastic disc. So obviously I'm going to be changing this out. So I'll be changing this out to gold. Definitely. I think it is stunning. It says wild and beautiful on the front and it has some white with gold lining florals or lined florals on the front of it. Beautiful. Again, this is in classic size. So pretty. And so this, um, it's striped on this side. And then you have your name page, which this is more like a grayish tone, I believe. You have your calendar, uh, your year at a glance, your perpetual calendar. And here starts your monthly, so beautiful, grow your own way. This is what I fell in love with. So this I feel is so unique. I love the fact that it is outlined in black i think it is absolutely stunning um this is what i fell in love with i mean obviously the florals and everything but i loved what they did with the monthly and so here on your weekly pages there is some like outlined florals they're not like painted in or anything like that i think that is the theme that they were going with with this whole line and here it has some florals right here by the date. But other than that, it's pretty neutral, which I am definitely okay with. And so here is um, this, I didn't, your currently page has that same thing with the florals, just not, you know, uh, colored in. And look at this divider. Look how beautiful. So pretty. It is wild and beautiful. Oh man, just like the front. And look, even the the tabs are like gold. So pretty. So they alternated between black, gold, and like a dark gray and light gray. So pretty. There's December. And we have January. Stunning. And I'm a gray person. Like my house is gray. Now my car is gray. I love gray. And I love black. Like, I wear a lot of black. It's so pretty. I just like how simple and neutral this is. You can do so many things with this. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, man, that's beautiful. So they did the gray with the gold. Stunning, 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 stunning. So in the back, you get that same notes page, that filler paper that I showed you. You get that. The back of it is uh, lined and is so pretty. So this is a vertical layout. So that is the last thing that I got um, from the back to school collection. Obviously, um, I stated that I want to um, grab the Bell 4 sticker book, but I think that that is pretty much it. Like, I don't think that there's like anything else that I really, really, really would like to buy. I think, I think that's it. I mean, you know, but you never know. As you start seeing people do uh, decorative things with them and, you know, you can easily, easily change your mind on things. But uh, for right now, I pretty much got everything that I wanted um, and I am pretty happy and cannot wait to start setting things up and I will definitely film and bring you along with me. So thank you so much for joining me here at Daniel's Desk. If you enjoyed um, my Happy Planner haul from the Back to School collection, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing and I hope that you have a good day. Bye. <music>